Now we're going to talk about the concept of data and variables. So if we go to the data tab and if it's a brand new program, you'll probably only have two buttons, variables and lists. For this video here, we're just talking about variables. So if I click make a variable, it wants me to name it. And let's just call it, say, counter. If I press OK, I now have a counter on the screen. And I now have all of these different options, or new blocks, I should say. If I double click on where it says counter, I can actually change the appearance if I wanted to. Um, and if I drag these blocks out, I can now manipulate this counter. So let's say, for example, I want this button to add one to the counter every time I click on it. So I have a when this sprite is clicked block. And if I said change counter by one, every time I click on this button, the counter goes up. If I said change counter by negative one, the counter would go down into negatives. And if I said set the counter to zero, the counter would actually go ahead and set to zero. So let's say that I were to duplicate this button. So I have three. And if I wanted to, I can now go ahead and say that this first one's going to set, this second one's going to change by one, and this third one is going to change by negative one. I now built myself a little counter function here. So if I click on the first one, it goes to, let's see, First one here, sets, and we have add and minus. So this guy sets to zero, this one subtracts, this one adds and manipulates the counter. Now you may be thinking, well, why does this matter? Well, you could turn a counter into just about anything. Yes, you could use it as a variable to create functions like gravity, but it could be as simple as keeping score in a game, setting a timer if you had a time limit, adjusting lives or points, so if I went to a block of, or a program from a previous video, and right now if I have Iron Man step on this green box, he changes into attack mode and plays an Iron Man sound effect. If I move off the box, I can actually go ahead and let's say that I added a counter here, like, let's see, points, where imagine that if he was attacking this poor green box, he would actually be gaining points. So I could say something like, change points by one. So now, let's see what happens. He gets a point every time he goes into attack mode. And I didn't move off the block there, which is why he has two. So every time he attacks this block, he now gets points. Simple as that. 